Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a large pelvic mass. You will see the understanding of a large pelvic mass is slightly tricky. You can see a large pelvic mass and the mass is so large that uterus and the ovaries are not properly visualized. You will have to scan for some time by different probe bending techniques to visualize the pelvic organs and find the origination of the mass. During routine clinical practice, radiologists often must evaluate a wide range of pelvic diseases. One of the most prob problematic being large, more than 5 cm masses, have the obscure the visualization of the pelvic structures, pelvic organs lying underneath the mass. Large pelvic masses in women may originate from uterus, cervix, ovaries, fallopian tubes, peritoneum or retroperitoneum. You can see a large pelvic mass. A significant blood flow is also seen. The mass is round to oval in shape, is semi-solid to solid in consistency and has slightly heterogeneous ecogenicity. This is a large pelvic mass and the mass measures about more than 9 cm, 9.2 cm into 9.1 cm. But as you examine carefully, you can see the uterus, the whole length of the uterus is visible and the mass is attached to the posterior wall of the uterus. This is uterus. This is cervix. Now if you want to see the uterus, you can, you must raise the probe slightly superiorly and release some pressure and you can see the whole length of the uterus. I will share, show you later on in this video. You can see now the whole length of the uterus is visible. Again the cervix, middle and distal portion of the uterine cavity is visible. Now this is the ovary, the right ovary and it looks eco normal. Now again you can see the whole length of the uterus and the mass lies attached to the posterior wall of the whole length of the uterus. This is the other ovary and both the ovaries are eco normal so the mass is not the ovarian nor the uterine but indeed it is attached to the posterior wall of the uterus a pelvic mass is also known as an adnexal mass it is growth that happens near or in the fallopian tubes ovaries uterus and connective tissue while they are often benign they may be cancerous a tumor is a solid mass unlike fluid filled ovarian cyst tumors which occur in many areas of the body are abnormal growths that do not have any purpose a tumor can be benign or cancerous that is malignant but ovarian tumors are typically benign now again you can see the uterus and the mass Now the pelvic mass is an enlargement or swelling in the pelvic region. Most pelvic masses are discovered during a routine gynecological or physiological examinations. Most are benign conditions such as ovarian cancer while others can be related to gynecological cancer. This is the patient is a 31 year age female married since about three months ago. 
So Nelly Paris. In the United States, the diagnosis of an adenex, adenexal or pelvic mass will occur in 5 to 10 percent of women in their lifetime. Although commonly benign, a small percentage that is 15 to 20 percent will be malignant and diagnosis of these at the earliest possible stage is of critical importance. Now again you can see the uterus and both the ovaries are also visible. So the mass lies in between the ovaries attached to the posterior wall of the uterus. Type of pelvic mass tends to vary by the age group. In women of reproductive age, the most common cause of symmetrical uterine enlargement is pregnancy. Other common causes of pelvic masses are fibroids and functional ovarian cysts. There are many conditions that can cause mass to develop in the pelvic area and many of these masses are not uh, cancerous. In postmenopausal women, masses are more likely to be cancerous. In women of reproductive age, the most common cause of symmetrical uterine enlargement is pregnancy. So the other common causes of pelvic masses are fibroid and functional ovarian cyst. In post menopausal women, a sample or biopsy procedure may be required, whether the tumor is benign or cancer. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.